For 14th hole, this is a difficult driving hole. Decisions to be made. Around 230 metres over the right-hand bunker, that's the direction most people will have to hit it in. The left-hand bunker almost 260 to carry. If you're long enough to carry that, it's a big advantage. If you've avoided the bunkers off the tee, then there's an approach shot into this green that gives you a chance of birdie. There's two clubs difference between the front right pin placement and the back left pin placement. The place to avoid, the back bunker under that rock wall. So 14 green has three distinct sections. High at the front right, low in the middle, and even higher at the back left. The place to avoid, the back bunker, all downhill from there. Well, here we are on the 18th at the hills, 435 metres, a demanding driving hole. Big problems here, 240 metres to get over the saddle, 240 metres over those bunkers on the left, and a new addition this year, we have a pack of 100-odd marauding wolves on the right. So when you've negotiated the tee shot, the fun of the hole isn't over yet. Now, a big, big bunker in front of the green. You've got around 150 metres. The pin's on the left. You can use the slopes to work the ball into the green. If it's on the right, though, everything has to be through the air. This is where it comes crunch time. So our traditional Sunday pin is here on the right-hand side of the green. Tough to get at. Now, we do have a little bank at the back of the green that faces back towards the player. This is a help. The problem is, at the front of the green, just over the bunker, green slopes away. If you want to get it close, you've got to land it really close to the front, risk the front trap, do you hit it back in the green here and use this little slope to hold the ball and accept the fact that you're going to have six, seven, eight metres for birdie?